What's up everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex and in this video I want to talk about the rumor that Microsoft has no AAA Game Pass games that are going to be coming out for the rest of the year. Now this came from Special Nick on the Xbox Era podcast and it's a little confusing the wording, right? So you, and, and maybe even how I just introduced it is not the proper wording. A Plague Tale Requiem comes out in October. I consider that a pretty big game. I know not everybody would. I don't know if you would necessarily call it a triple A. It's probably like a double A kind of game. That game is on Game Pass. I think what Nick meant when he was saying it is like, I, well, you know, it's it's your perception of what's big, but big games like Callisto Protocol, Gotham Knights, Marvel's Midnight Suns, those games, none of those games will be on Game Pass as of the moment. He stressed that, that it doesn't mean a deal can't come in a few weeks. It doesn't mean that Microsoft isn't trying to get a deal done. It means as of right now, there's nothing, I guess, besides a Plague Tale. Yes, there's like Grounded and even Somerville is coming out. I'm not saying like Microsoft has zero games, but that there's no AAA big game that's coming out third party that you would say well and this is something i do think is important right because microsoft in terms of big games doesn't really have any and really hasn't had any this entire year and won't really have any for the rest of the year so you would imagine well maybe they tried it and i think this was a rumor actually a while ago i don't know if it was jeff grubb or maybe it was special nick this was something that people were saying where it's like well because they don't really have much okay now i'm excited for somerville i'm excited actually for grounded because i haven't played it yet so i'm excited but you know when you think of well starfield and fable and state of decay 3 and you know everwild there's none of those right so to fill in that gap what could they do well they could look at a game like a gotham knights or a marvel's midnight suns and they could use that game to be on game pass to kind of you know supplement it i think that's a, a really good idea um I, I don't know why they haven't done something like that maybe i, I don't because I don't want to say like money is tight because there's no way that's humanly possible when it comes to Microsoft, but I honestly feel like there's a lot of good examples of games that would fit. I know in the Xbox era podcast, right, where the rumor came from, they were going through third party games that would maybe fit it. They left out a, a lot of games that <laughs> I think just kind of flew right over their head. Gotham Knights is what I've been saying for a while. I really think Gotham Knights would work so well as a game pass. Now, keep, keeping in mind like game pass game, I mean like just from a Microsoft brand saying like hey we have gotham knights like if you want to play gotham knights and you want to play it for free on game pass you you come to us you know what i mean i think gotham knights makes a ton of sense for that i've been saying saints row i think saints now that game comes out in like two weeks so i i, I have a feeling that's not gonna happen but saints row made a lot of sense to me big open world fun you know what i mean not 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 the greatest game of all time kind of a a middle tier triple a game like that would have worked rather well marvel's midnight suns if you wanted to go for like a big split you could try to do like the Callisto protocol, right? That would kind of be fun. I mean, they're Destroy All Humans 2 remake. I mean, there's definitely, and again, like a lot of these games, they didn't even mention. They it just went right over their heads, which is fine. But I just think a lot of those make a lot of sense for for Game Pass. So it does suck. Um, uh, by the way, I'm not like I guess suggesting that I want all my games to be. I mean, well, look. Okay, at the end of the day. If I could get every game that I want in the fall for free, like if they all came out on Game Pass, you, you bet your bottom dollar, I, I'd want that, right? I guess it's me being cheap. I'm not saying like, oh, every game needs to be free. No game can sell off of like the full, I'm not, I'm not like trying to start a narrative like that, but I do think that's a, a missed opportunity. Um, just even if you want to get into the console wars, which I really don't want to, but you know, if you bring in like, you know, God of War Ragnarok, like it's going to be a big, it's going to be a big fall. You'd imagine for Sony with God of War, you know, you look at the partnership with Hogwarts Legacy. A lot of people link Hogwarts to PlayStation. I mean, it's a big deal. It's a really big deal. So for Microsoft to have nothing really to, I guess specifically again, to combat that Somerville looks really awesome. I'm really excited for it. Is it going to be as big as God of War Ragnarok? That's laughable to even suggest, you know what I mean? To even suggest that. So we'll have to see what happens, but I, I do think there's a missed opportunity that even if you could have gotten Saints Row and like Marvel's Midnight Suns, like if you got those two, they're again, they're not the greatest games of all time, but they're solid. They're two different genres. You know what I mean? Like they would attract different kind of people. Same thing for Gotham Knights. Same thing for like Gotham Knights is more of that action adventure co-op, you know, DC game. Saints Row, open world, again, fun, right? A little bit more like lighthearted. Uh, you go to Callisto Protocol, that would be more horror, right? I mean, you can jump around and Midnight Sun's more like tactical-like. I mean, there's a lot of different genres and meaning different people that you could grab onto 
if you did that. So it is disappointing for sure. But there are games. Again, I'm not saying like Plague Tale is huge. That one is, a, is again, I, I look at that as AAA. I guess it's not considered AAA. You look at Scorn. Scorn comes out in October. I'm excited for that. I guess these aren't qualified as, you know, AAA really big games. So they're not uh, technically on Special Nick's list when he's going through it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on. And I hope to see you all on tomorrow's video.